Tomorrow night, I think when Hillary Clinton uh, wins, that Donald Trump will have lost this election from the very first day he announced. There's not going to be a President Donald Trump. Um, that's not going to happen. Donald Trump will never be elected president of the United States. Now, Donald Trump is not going to become president of the United States. Is that people think that Donald Trump is a clown. Do Donald, Donald Trump is a clown. I mean, does anybody seriously think that Donald Trump is serious about running for president? Donald Trump. You know, he's a clown. When the inevitable happens, which is a very substantial landslide victory. Hillary Clinton has a 100% chance of winning. So that means that, means that no scenario that we could lay out to get Donald Trump to 270 electoral votes. There's not Sit down. Go ahead. No, you don't. You haven't been called. Go. Go. I don't think his plan has anything to do with Latinos. His plan, his strategy is to win the White House without Latinos. I don't think he can do it. Uh, Jorge Ramos, Jorge, thanks. Donald Trump will have been kept from the White House by a big, beautiful brown wall. <laughs> Donald Trump will have been kept from the White House by a big, beautiful brown wall. <laughs> This guy's a joke. <laughs> this entire candidacy was a stunt. Donald Trump is not going to get the nomination. I'd like to support the nominee, but he's not going to be the nominee. That's just not going to happen. Well, I don't think it's likely that Donald Trump will be the nominee. Well, I... He is not going to be the nominee. So Donald Trump will lose, and he will then destroy the Republican Party. Donald Trump has been saying that he will run for president as a Republican, which is surprising since I just assumed he was running as a joke. <laughs> I don't think he'll end up being president of the United States. Will he win the general election? I don't believe so, no. No one's going to be happier Holy than President Trump. Obama when Trump loses. Uh, no one, except for me. I continue to believe Mr. Trump, Trump will not be president. He will never be president. Uh, Pocahontas, is that what you said? Can you imagine Donald Trump standing up one day and delivering a State of the Union address? Well, I can imagine it. Uh, in a Saturday night skit. I think uh, that Donald Trump's campaign is over. Like it's a like, zombie, right? Like it's a walking dead. It's not, there's nowhere for him to go. And the fact that most people think Donald Trump is going to lose. Trump would not be permitted to win. The debate isn't about, this. when we're analyzing this, the debate is never about, can Trump win the election? The standard has now been reduced to, can Trump make it through the next four weeks without getting removed from the ticket? But here's the thing, over 60% of Republicans aren't going to vote for Donald Trump. And what we know from the polling data is that the more they learn about him, the less they like him. I, I personally think this race is over. To me, this race is over. Politico's latest survey of political insiders agrees, quote, Clinton will crush Trump in November. It's basically this is the beginning of the end for Trump. The beginning of the end. The beginning of the end? This is probably starting of the beginning of the end for, for Donald Trump. So right now we have Hillary's about 75 or an 80 percent favorite. We have different versions yeah, of the forecast right. you can look at. Paul has Hillary Clinton up by double digits nationally, 12 points, 50 to 38, four-way race. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Look, look at me. Do it. I will personally write you a campaign check now on behalf of this country, which does not want you to be president, but which badly wants you to run. Hillary Clinton is the next president of the United States. <laughs> Hillary screams, I am your standard politician. I'm the same politician you've seen all your life. And these folks don't look like they're in the mood for it. It's time for this incredible woman to step into the role that she is meant to have. And we, we, all of us, are going to help her get there. Okay. Here she is! <laughs> hey guys! <coughs> the talk is so, <coughs> so go check out healthcare.gov or call 1 800 318 2596 and someone will personally help you. You shouldn't have. What was that? Is that a dog? Hillary! <laughs> it's Hillary! <laughs> reporting it, Katie. You're not reporting it, Katie. But there's something happening, Katie. 
There's something happening, Katie. And they're chanting USA, USA, USA here. The mood only grows happier by the minute. Make it focus. Sorry to keep you waiting, complicated business. A lot of people have laughed at me over the years. Now they're not laughing so much. Thank you for allowing our country to have the freedom and opportunity to vote in a democratic and civil fashion. I would like to congratulate Miss Clinton on her winning of the President of the United States. What? what? Hillary Clinton didn't win. Donald Trump won. Donald Trump is the new president. <laughs> Dear America, heads up world, this one's gonna sting. Donald Trump is your new boss. Let me be the first to explain to you what actually happened. America happened. America! I love Mexican people. Canada's immigration website crashed. We're all gonna die. <laughs> I hate this year. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the Chaos Emeralds? <laughs> I know. Get your abortions now. <laughs> 
because we're going to be you fucked know. and we're going to have to live with it. I kind of push back against the advancement of African Americans, of Hispanics, of women, of Muslim Americans. It is a, a mourning moment for, for those people uh, and it is, it is a moment filled with fear. Because I'm on this network and people know my attitudes about things. They come up to me and they're scared, depressed, despair, desperate even. Uh, almost clinging to me. It was a rough night for everybody, yeah. I think. Um, you know, we're worried. The people are worried. You know, okay, he's the president. Now what? It feels like we're trying to avoid the apocalypse and half of the country is voting for the asteroid. Is there a doomsday plan for a time like this? Am I right to ask about a doomsday plan? Do you see this as a doomsday scenario? You won. So where is the conciliatory note to say, I want my people to support one president? Where's that message? It's got to start with you, man. No, it has to start with the president who second. ran. It has to start with Hillary Clinton uh, who ran. Look, look, I didn't run for president. John Podesta didn't run for president. See, this is, the, this, is, this is the fear. Here it is. You see it. You won. Say it again. I didn't hear you. You won. <laughs> That's right. And Hillary Clinton should say that to the American people and say, support Donald Trump because he's one president. This is it. This is, this, man, this man, is, man. Let, let me finish. Yeah. I'm, I'm not done. I'm not done. Look, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. She'll talk in the morning. Will she? Oh. Let, let him finish. finish. Corey, you're being a horrible person right now. Let me finish. Maybe being caught off guard that I wasn't in touch with the country I live in and that maybe I am in a bubble when, when cri critics come out on social media and say, you don't know what the world's about. Sadly, now I woke up and I thought, maybe I don't. Like, I was, I, it just, well, it shocked. really was like a punch in the gut. But you know what I learned? What did you I learn? learned that as usual, men can get away with anything and women can get away with nothing. People keep saying, you gotta give Trump a chance, give him a chance, I ain't giving him shit. Trump has all three branches of government now. Conservative Congress, he's gonna nominate a conservative judge to the Supreme Court, and then everything we've done in the last eight years is gone. So don't tell me not to be angry. Don't tell me not to be upset. Don't tell me to give Trump a chance. I ain't giving that motherfucker shit. This is the time for real wisdom. Lightning round. If Trump wins, how about bursting into tears and screaming fuck for the next 45 minutes? Well, America is crying tonight. I'm not sure how much of America, but a very, very significant portion. And I mean literally crying. Everybody is crying and so upset. And it is the end of their world. Feels like the end of the world. We were on uh, Lifetime last right. night. And I was uh, slowly getting drunk is what happened to me. How do we explain how this is possible? How did this happen? experienced politician versus racist fake gynecologist. This is a different earth yeah. today than it was 24 hours ago. It's a different place uh, cause it just is different. Deeper concerns tonight that the world's shining light of democracy has gone dark. Decency lost last night and that's what's so uh, hurtful about this. I can't put, I, I cannot put a, 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 I can't put a happy face on that. And, and that's my job. This is the first time throughout this entire race where I'm officially shitting my pants. <laughs> I, I genuinely do not understand how America can be this disorganized or this hateful. How do you govern when your whole campaign was built on the hatred of somebody else? From slavery to, you know, Nazism, we have faced challenges before to who we are as a people. Plus the Supreme Court, who knows where that's going to go. So the only checks and balances we have are us, the view. Yeah, let's melt down and make all those I don't understand faces. I always thought it would be delish. I didn't know it would be this delish. Every day <laughs> as I watch them unfold on the left, it's like Bill Mazeroski hits his home run in the ninth around 10 times a day for me. It's beautiful. I really came out to me today. She's a woman of color who said, I am so scared for my life. I am so scared because the people who called me the N-words when I was in high school voted for this man. <laughs> Okay. How can we be here to say we are a community? We are a fucking university, people. We are going to stand for what is right. We are going to protect each other. We are going to love each other. And if you're afraid, look at all of these people around you. This is your community. They will make sure that nothing happens to you. They will fight to the team. You're right.
So just take care of yourselves today and know that tomorrow's going to be okay. And the next good day is going to be okay. And we're going to get better. We're going to heal from this. Because we're part of the university and are part of one of the greatest nations in the world. And it might not feel like that right now, but I know that we are. And I know that we can do good. So have a great day, people. And love each other. People voted for Hillary, but the system favored Trump. Thing is, he's not going to be my president. He's not only disrespecting me and my beliefs and my gender, but my friends' beliefs, gender, and religion. And that's not the kind of president that needs to be in office. I hope your conscience is okay, that your friends are out there afraid for their lives because you are allowing that this bigot become president. Look at me! Feel the anger inside of you. It's not what a lot of millennials wanted. Things are really crazy. I don't know. It's a really hard thing. Uh, it's just, it's really hard. <laughs> ever, ever thought that he would have won. When he announced that he was running, I thought it was a joke. When he won, I was just waiting for him to say this is a joke. This is the view at Clinton headquarters, obviously reacting to that news in in Florida. Long faces uh, at the... Stunning information as it's been progressing here of Donald Trump winning Iowa, which was pretty much anticipated, and Florida. But this is such a narrow path. And for all this time, we've been talking about the multiple paths that she had and the narrow path that he had. And clearly, that was a misjudgment by all of the conventional wisdom. So pollsters missed it. Correspondents missed it. Uh, all of the analysis, the focus on the early vote, which was clearly misplaced because we were attributing too much weight to the early vote and not counting what was still out there. Andrea Mitchell at the Clinton headquarters where there has been a sharp reaction to that news that Florida has gone to Donald Trump. It is the opposite reaction. Going through some of the uh, exit polling data and you came across something fascinating. Well, this is fascinating. One of the swing groups that we have been watching in this election is suburban women who swung from uh, uh, Bush to Rom, excuse me, from uh, Obama won them in the last election and we were wondering where they would go. Hillary Clinton was in Wisconsin, we just checked, was April 2nd, seven months ago. So a tight. If you voted for Donald Trump, you voted for people like me to be put in fucking camps like Auschwitz. You voted for that! Wolf, the scene here is so different than it was a few hours ago when people were happy and relaxed. I have been looking around the room at people who are stone-faced. Some of them have been crying. We have seen people leaving the venue, including some who have been sitting on the risers behind the podium where Hillary Clinton is supposed to speak. Uh, there are people who are just in shock. I've seen mouths open as folks here in the audience are watching the results come in, many of them with their arms crossed and uh, a hand to their mouth. They are just stunned uh, as they watch what is going on here. It's just been a, a complete reversal from what we saw uh, a few hours ago. So much anger and so much contempt for you, but no, that even through all of it, I love you because you're a human being, because you deserve rights. I don't care if you don't think I do, <laughs> but you do, I guess. So have fun with your vote. All the blood and all the injustice is in your hands. What do you think about women's suffrage? Um, I think it's horrible. People are this gullible. Is it really any wonder why colleges are filled with social justice warriors? Well, I think that um, 
there's a level of aggression that's out there and they need healing, that they need to um, take self-awareness and uh, really develop from that so that they can get along with the rest of all of us. What the fuck are you bitches babbling about? I had a boyfriend once and it was the first boyfriend I ever had who had a house. He moved into a whole house. And he put a, um, he was one day, he was putting an American flag up the flagpole. And I said, my, I got nervous. <laughs> and I said, what are you doing? And he goes, I'm putting up the American flag. And I said, why? And he said, um, because I love America. <laughs> and then I was like, oh. And then I walked to my car and I called my sister. And uh, because, um, I love America too. I love America, but not like above all other places or anything. And I call her and I said, why do I feel so uncomfortable that my uh, boyfriend is putting an American flag up at his house? And she said, because Jews have an innate fear of nationalism. And I was like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> but that USA is number one. USA is number one kind of fervor is... Uh, it's so scary. It's it comes. It's like a. It's really my favorite combination in comedy. The arrogant ignorance. It, he other than put aside the the horror that there was ever a possibility and maybe a possibility that he could be president. As far as he is the Republican nominee. Sort of. Put that aside. Put a pin in that. Uh, he's kind of great in the way that Jews. It's great when you see. Uh, anti-Semitism, you know, out in the open. Because, you know, like when Mel Gibson said uh, stuff about Jews and all that stuff, it was, Jews love that. The results of the election were a stark reminder that we still live in a white supremacist, patriarchal nation. Progressivism, economic equality, and human rights took a beating. Racism, misogyny, and Islamophobia won as Americans affirmed white supremacy and patriarchy and hate. Hate for Muslims, refugees, people of color, the poor, the queer community. Sadly, the list seems endless. We cannot let hate win because this isn't just about us. This is about the world. And to the world we say, we refuse to surrender to the forces which seek to silence women. We will not stand idly by and allow the continued intimidation of people of color, non-Christians, LGBT, LGBT folks, and all those who exist at the intersections of multiple identities. We can and we will participate in the mobilization of our communities. We will resist the hate. And in the end, we'll win.